Welcome back to Western Mass News. Matt Satilli alongside Liam Murphy at the Weather Center on the final Sunday of August. Yes, can't believe the summer has already gone by so fast. Well, a lot of kids, a lot of parents out there enjoying the last weekend of summer. Some parents may be excited to be bringing the kids back to school, but <laughs> still enjoying a nice weekend. A nice weekend it was. Oh, definitely, yeah. And that's actually going to continue as we send kids off to school for Monday and Tuesday as well. We could see some showers and storms, though, Tuesday night into Wednesday. Okay. But. I, for one, am rooting for a nice Labor Day weekend, too. Hopefully we see that nice weather stretch throughout the whole week. Yeah, I might be able to deliver that for you. We'll have to see. Well, All right. <laughs> we'll look at the 10-day. Fingers looking, crossed. Yeah, so looking at your 24 today, we're going to see temperatures continuing to fall into the 70s and 60s. 60s as we get into the overnight hours. So we're going to see mostly clear skies. And then as we advance it through tonight, we'll see temperatures dropping into the 60s. We could see some um, areas of fog form as we get towards the overnight hours into early tomorrow morning. So we could see some areas of fog, but we will stay dry. It will be slightly muggy. And then as we get towards the morning tomorrow, we will clear out nicely. That fog will burn up and we will see a mix of sun and clouds, mostly sunny actually, with uh, temperatures getting into the upper 70s near 80 degrees by 11 o'clock. And then we will climb close to 90 degrees as we get towards the early evening um, with 87 degrees over in Springfield and 88 over in Westfield. So we're going to see mostly clear skies and then will that then the temperatures will continue to slowly drop as we get towards your early evening. But right now we're seeing temperatures getting into the upper 70s. So as we look at our MGM sky cam, we see pretty much completely clear skies. A little while ago we did have a nice blend of sun and clouds, but that is um, moving out and breaking up as we speak. Winds are out of the west southwest at six miles per hour. Humidity is 60% dew point in the mid 60s, so it's not overly humid right now, but it does feel a touch muggy in some areas. So dew points right now are in the 60s, 63 in Westfield, 63 in Hartford, a little bit more humid as you get towards the southern coast of Connecticut, but it isn't feeling overly oppressive right now. But um, dew points will stay in the upper 60s, nearing 70 degrees as we get towards Monday and Tuesday. So it will feel a bit muggy um, as we get towards those days. But then we do have a cold front passing in our area, and that's going to drop dew points significantly as we get towards Wednesday and towards the rest of the week. So. Wednesday through Friday, we will feel overly refreshing and we will see temperatures drop as well. So your day on Monday, we'll see temperatures nearing 90 degrees with dew point, um, with temperatures in the upper 80s. That will continue for your day on Tuesday with the cold front passing through. We will see those temperatures drop with the, with the dew points on Wednesday and we'll drop much closer to normal as we are um, at around 80 degrees for our, our normal for this time of year. The 6 to 10 day temperature outlook has most of the um, Middle portions of the country a little bit below average, but here in the Northeast, we are staying pretty much around normal as we are only going to see a couple days above above normal and then we're going to drop right back down to where we are supposed to be for this time of year. Looking at the satellite radar right now, we do have some cloud cover moving off to our uh, off to our east. That was in our area earlier, so we did have some uh, mix of sun and clouds that has since moved off. We do have high pressure in place, keeping us nice and dry with a stationary boundary off to our south, keeping all of the moisture and cloud cover down to our south. So we are going to see mainly clear skies as we get into the overnight hours tonight as well. Your next weather maker, though, comes with a cold front coming in on Tuesday. So Tuesday overall will be mostly sunny, but then we will see the cloud cover increase a little bit as that front approaches as we get towards the evening hours and overnight hours Tuesday night into Wednesday. So we will see that happen. We'll see the cold front coming through the area and then that will pass. We could see some heavier downpours, embedded thunderstorms as well. But right now the severe risk is awfully low. But anything that we do get on Tuesday into Wednesday will be beneficial. We are in a severe drought still. Our next drought monitor updates on Thursday. So that actually doesn't that doesn't include any of the rainfall that we got earlier this week. Beyond that, though, our Labor Day weekend is looking pretty nice. We will dry out for Wednesday, stay dry for Thursday into Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Labor Day is looking nice, but we are looking to take another run at 90 degrees cooler as we get towards the beginning half of your next week. Let's check your forecast. I have more weather in a little while. Matt, over to